Good morning, everyone. So today would be our fifth lesson for the third quarter. And let's start our lesson with a very short activity. So I have here two sentences. Let's read together. My little brother made dinner. The other one is dinner was made by my little brother. So let's find out what is the subject, the verb, and the object or receiver of the verb. All right. So first is... Or rather, in first sentence, we have little brother as the subject. Okay, made is the verb. And dinner is the object or the receiver of the verb. Okay, in sentence number two, we have dinner as the subject was made verb. And little brother now is the object or the receiver. So, what have you noticed with these two sentences? So in the first sentence, the subject is the little brother. So who made the dinner? It is the little brother. He is the doer of the action. So what did the boy make? Dinner. So dinner is uh, the object or the receiver. While in sentence number two, we have dinner as the subject was made verb and little brother which is now an object or the receiver so in sentence number two the subject of sentence number one which is a little brother became the object in sentence number two and the dinner which is the object in sentence number one became the subject in sentence number two but dinner is not the doer of the action made okay so it is still the little brother who is the doer of the action okay and now what do you think is our topic for today so let's find out the two sentences that i have discussed is an active and passive voice so today we're going to talk about active and passive voice first we have the active voice all right so this is the voice that we use most of the time okay so the subject is the doer of the action and the object is the receiver so in active voice it means that the sentence has a subject that acts upon its verb like for example the sentence number one a while ago the boy or rather my little brother made dinner so that is active voice wherein the subject is the doer of the action and the object is the receiver so that is active voice the voice that we use most of the time Sentences in the active voice have strong, direct, and clear tone. So when we want to say that the subject of the sentence is doing the action, it is the active voice of the verb. Who does the action? It's the subject. All right. So like for example, a man is cutting down a tree. Who is cutting down a tree? A man. Okay. The subject. All right. So that is active voice now let's have the format of active and passive voice so let's have first the active voice so doer of an action or the subject plus verb plus the receiver of action or the object of the verb like for example baldo drives the cart so baldo is the subject followed by the verb and followed by the receiver of the action now, let's have some examples of active voice. So first, monkeys adore bananas. So subject, monkeys, okay, verb adore, and bananas is the receiver or object of the verb. Next, the cashier counted the money. Okay, cashier is the subject, counted is the verb, and money is the receiver. Another one, the dog chased the squirrel. So dog is the subject. Chased is the verb and squirrel is the object. All right. 
Now, let's have the passive voice. So, passive voice, okay, the subject receives the action of the verb. Like, for example, in sentence number two, we have, uh, dinner was made by my little brother. So, again, the subject receives the action of the verb. It is passive voice. All right, so when we want to say that the subject of the sentence is not doing anything, but it is allowing something to be done to it by somebody else, we use the passive voice of the verb. So here, the subject is not the doer of the action. Like for example, a tree is being cut down by a man. So our subject is tree, but the tree is not the doer of the action. It is still a man. All right, so that is passive voice form. And let's have the format of passive voice form. So first, the receiver of the action plus the B form of the verb plus the past participle of the verb and then you put by followed by the doer of the action. So like for example, we have here the cart is drive or driven by Baldo, okay? So we have cart is the receiver of the action, okay? So is is the V or rather the B verb, driven is the past participle, followed by by and followed by the doer of the action, which is Baldo, okay? So again, the cart is driven by Baldo. So it is an example of a passive voice form. Now let's have some examples. First, bananas are adored by monkeys. So bananas are, or rather subject, are adored is our verb and monkeys our receiver. Next, we have the squirrel was chased by the dog. So squirrel subject was chased is our verb in dog and is the receiver. Next, we have the money was counted by the cashier. So money is the subject, was counted is the verb, and cashier is our receiver. All right. So those are some examples of passive voice. Now let's convert passive or rather active to passive form. Okay. So we have here example number one, the boy is carrying the girl. So the boy is the subject and is carrying is our verb and the girl is our object. Now let's change it into passive form. So here the girl is being carried by the boy. So the girl here, which is the object of the verb in the first sentence, will be our subject in the second sentence, okay? And our verb, which is carrying, or rather is carrying, will be changed into is being carried. So be is being is the be form of the verb, and carried is the past participle of the verb carry, okay? So carry here is a regular verb. That's why it forms its past participle by just adding ed, okay? And the boy, which is uh, the subject in sentence number one, became the object in sentence number two. So you have to be careful in changing your verb, all right? Okay. So let's have example number two. We have John reads a book every day. And let's change it into passive. A book is read every day by John. Next example we have, he cooks food and food is cooked by him. So here, when the subject of a sentence is singular, the verb must also be in singular. Okay. And when the subject of a sentence is plural, the verb that sentence must be the verb of that sentence rather must also be plural. Like for example, we have here, he carried some books. So some books 
were carried by him. All right. So some books is now the subject in sentence number two. Therefore, we have to use were carried. Okay. Now let's have uh, some changes in verbs in changing active to passive forms. So like for example, simple present. So in active, once a week, Chris drives the car. In passive, it will become once a week, the car is driven by Chris. Next, simple past. Active is Ralph repaired my bicycle. So in passive, that will become was repaired. Okay, next, uh, simple future. So Rona will help Gemma at 5 p.m. So here, Gemma will be helped by Rona at 5 p.m. Okay, so again, drives is driven, repaired, was repaired, will help, will be helped. Okay. Next, we have the present continuous or that is uh, progressive tenses of the verb. So, is writing will become is being written. So, the be form plus the past participle of the verb. So, always remember in changing active to passive form. So, passive will become the past participle of the verb. Okay. So, past I was closing. Okay. In passive that is was being closed. And for the future, will be visiting, that will become, will be visited. So again, the be verb plus the past participle of the verb. All right. Next, in using modal, so we have here used to. So used to settle in passive, that will become used to be settled. Next, would always that will become would always bake in passive that will become would always be baked and in future would complete so will become would be completed all right so grade nine those are some very important um, things that you have to remember in changing active to passive form And that's the end of our lesson for today, active and passive voice. And for your activity, or rather for your ILT, please try to answer uh, practice 3 and 4 that is found on pages 431 and 432. So practice answering and be ready for our live discussion. So this is all for today. Again, this is Teacher Mitch your English teacher. So goodbye, everyone. Have a nice day.